my name is Mrs Dearman, I live at Bilborough. I'm Karen Page, I'm a Home Link Support Officer working for Nottingham City Homes for 23 years. Mrs Dearman first approached the council uh, earlier last year, 2012. Her husband had passed away and she was finding the property just too big. I lost my husband and I couldn't see any point in me stopping in a three bedroom house which was fully equipped for a, a disabled person. And then I'd found out I'd got cancer myself. Mrs Dearman had got a ho her own health issues. Um, she was really supported by her family. Her daughter lives the other side of the city and she was finding it difficult to access the support that she needed because of the distance, getting across town with the traffic and everything else. It was horrendous getting to my mum when she needed me. There were times when she'd ring up and say, I really feel really poorly, can you come down? Everything stopped. Battling through traffic was a hell because I got to go through Heiss and Green to get through to St Anne's. You know, you can guarantee it always happened in rush hour and took forever, or it felt like it took forever anyway. And it was just a nightmare to get there. So basically what, what we looked at was that to enable her to have the care facilitated, we could move her nearer to a daughter. That would release her three bedroom adapted property to a family that needed the adaptations and would fully occupy it. We came to view the property. Well, I think I came before my mum actually, a quick sneak around the outside. And then I brought my mum to view it when we got the keys to view. And she loved it, so she wanted it. And I sat her down and I said, it's your choice. It's you that's lived there all those years. It's all your memories. It's everything you've ever known. And it's entirely up to you if you're gonna be happy moving. And she goes, I want to move. I need to be nearer you. You've done everything for me. And I just need to know that, you know, you're going to be there for me. I says, well, I would be there for you no matter where you lived. But at the end of the day, the nearer the better. I ordered me carpets. I ordered the carpets. I got me a bit of wallpaper I wanted. I had nothing to do with the decorating because I couldn't with me having my illness. And I thought, I cannot possibly have her here while I'm painting and decorating because of the fumes and her illnesses and everything else. So I thought, I'll pack her off to Skegness in a nice hotel with her auntie for the weekend. And that I did. So I come back, I asked her where I lived. I walked in and everything was done. Her and my son-in-law and his brother done it all for me. Every mortal thing, my bed was in place, everything. So I just stopped and cried. <laughs> <laughs> and I says, is that good or is that bad? She says, no, it's good. And I'm quite contented where I am. I love it. Hello, my name's Dawn Johnson. I'm a Home Link Support Officer with Nottingham City Homes. At the moment, I'm working on the Right Size project and we're looking at families that are overcrowded and also um, households that are underoccupied. Some of the families um, don't actually want to move. They're quite happy where they are. They like the neighbourhood, they like the area. They've got the support network set up. The children are settled at school, so they don't necessarily want to move. Um, but they, they, they look at that as being their only option. Um, when I've spoken to some families, we've looked at other options, um, reorganising the house, making best use of, of the space that they have got. Um, in our our uh, funding, we can get them extra storage, uh, bookcases, toy chests, bunk beds. Um, I'm looking at purchasing a shed for, for one family so they can get some of the items out of the house into, into the shed, uh, some of the children's toys and, you know, just to make more space in the house. Right, under occupation basically is people that are living in properties that are too large for them. Um, th a uh, lot of the people that we're seeing are going to be hit by welfare reform. In April, um, people are going to get charged bedroom tax. It's putting people in financial hardship, uh, fuel poverty. People can't afford to heat the properties. So our role really is to support them through the rehousing process and make it as smooth a path as possible. We tailor whatever support they need, whatever they need us to do, and that can be organising the utilities, sorting out the removals, making sure that if they've got surplus furniture that we can get rid of it for them. We, we contact charities and get stuff picked up just so that everything runs as smoothly as possible to enable them to, you know, move to something more manageable. 
I would say to anybody to contact the Homelink team um, and really we can, we can start it off with a discussion as to the best ways to help them. Um, the support is tailored around each individual family. It's not a case of us telling a family what they need, it's a case of them telling us what their frustrations are um, and then we, we work with them from there.